Ah, Friday, Friday night, <laughs> live improv from New York City. We have uh, a delightful cast with us today. I don't want to say hello to them right now. Hello, Beth Ann, and hello, Mike, and hello, Don. Hello, Scotty. <laughs> hello, Heidi. Hey there. That almost rhymes a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, well, not quite. Hello and Heidi doesn't really rhyme at all. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, so here's what we are going to do. We're going to play a game. Uh, it was a, do a doll called Hi Heidi. Oh, okay. Well, we'll keep. Well, that's a collectible now. Um, we'll keep an eye out for that. So we're going to play a game called Conducted Story. Uh, we're all going to tell the same story all together, but in different styles. So to get us started, let's get a title for the story. May I have a name that is traditionally associated with a uh, with a, a female name, traditionally associated? Rose. Rose. Love it. And one that is uh, traditionally male? Sam. Sam. May uh what's a what's a what's a fun pet pet you always thought you should have had? Monkey guru. Monkey, I heard monkey. <laughs> what's a uh, what's a good name for a monkey? Oh, we, we haven't heard from you yet, Mike. Gilbert. Yes, excellent name for uh for a monkey. And uh, where is a place that uh, you'd love to go, a non-geographical location you'd love to go to do something fun? Spamville. What is that again? Spamville. What is Spamville? It's a, um, it's a playground um, in the Could South. I simplify this by call it, saying go to the playground? Sure. That sounds. That seems sounds like because uh, we only have the room till ten. I'm sorry. I was just fudging it. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so the story that we are all telling together is Rose, Sam, and their monkey Gilbert go to the playground. Nice and simple. Rose, Sam, and their monkey Gilbert go to the playground. Uh, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Can I have a genre or kind of book or movie or that sort of thing for Beth Ann, please? Mystery. Ooh, good one. Beth Ann, you are, you're going to tell this story in the style of mystery. One for Mike, please. Hmm. I haven't heard from Beth Ann yet. Beth Ann, give Mike, a, give Mike something. Horror. I ah, love it. Horror. All right. One for Heidi, please. Film noir. Oh, I love noir. You, um, you're, you're pretty sure you're, you're comfy with film noir? Sure. The old, uh, the old hard-boiled detective novels of uh, yeah. Sam Spade. Yep. Yeah. And something for Don. Since he's a smart ass, let's make it really hard. Children's book. <laughs> I heard children's book first, and I have always wanted to hear Don's children's book. <laughs> All right, let's just check to make sure we know. Uh, Beth Ann, you are doing what style? Mystery. Thank you, Mike. Horror. Horror. And Heidi? Film Noir. <laughs> Femme fatale. And Don? Can you say children's book? Children's <laughs> book. Yeah, no, close enough. <laughs> and the story that we're all telling together is Rose, Sam, and their monkey Gilbert go to the playground. And I am going to start with Heidi. It was a dark and stormy day. But Rose wanted to go outside. She got her pack of cigarettes. She put on her coat and she said, Sam, we're going out with Gilbert the monkey. Excellent, Bethan. 
Little did they know what they were going to be finding when they stepped outside. It was not the typical rain that one might think. Instead, it was an odd color and an odd consistency. And the monkey was smart enough, Gilbert, to run back inside. Gone! The monkey was green. The lawn was blue. Everything looked just like you. Mike! You was the problem. And the problem was Gilbert. Not only was he green, but when Rose and Sam weren't looking, his eyes were red. Ethan. The red glowing eyes were enough to catch the attention of the passersby and all the other children were running past. Little did they know that at the playground, they would encounter another monkey. Mike. This monkey and Gilbert were of the same DNA strand, a DNA strand that caused them to howl at such a pitch that people's eardrums exploded. Ready? And they cover their ears. Oh my, this has got to stop. Somebody is going to do something about it. And they called on the sheriff. He came round. Done. The sheriff came round and he said, I'll give you a swab. And everyone said, oh no, make that stop. The monkey looked at the other monkey with glee and said, oh no, it won't be me. He I laughed. And, I and laughed. And the sheriff said, you're laughing at me. You should shall not laugh at me. I will make you and your partner there, Sam, go come with me. Come with me and get into my car. Ethan. As they got closer to the car, Rose looked over her shoulder and she, what did she see? She saw that the birds were starting to listen and sing along with the monkeys laughing. The laughter. It was deafening. Like the birds swarmed into the car. It was inside the car, everywhere. And Sam Gilbert took the wheel of the car, pushed the sheriff to the side, and pushed the accelerator pedal to the floor. Don, wrap it up. A car has both a gas pedal and a brake. And as the monkey looked at the very large windshield, he saw himself. Sometimes when we see in a mirror, we see ourselves. <laughs> Very good. The truer words have never been spoken. And that was our story. That was Rose, Sam, and their monkey Gilbert go to the playground. Thank you so much. Well done. Excellent work, guys. And excellent work for you showing up and watching improv on a Friday night. Hey, stick around. There's going to be more improv coming at you in just a few moments. <laughs> 